Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. We all know that Proton prefixes are a complete mess, right? They're named after Steam IDs, they make randomized ones for non-Steam games. It's almost impossible to figure out what game or what non-Steam app is using which Proton folder. You gotta go digging, you can't find anything. Sometimes you just wanna drop a save file or make an INI change, and you can't. The best you can do is maybe run Proton Tricks and see if you can find the folder you need to get into, but wouldn't it be nice if there was just a folder filled with links to all of these games named by name? We're gonna show you how to do that today, so stick around. All right, so let's get started by opening our browser and going to the URL provided in the description. This is gonna send us to a page known as Shortix or Shortix. This is a script that creates human-readable symlinks for Proton game prefixes. Pretty straightforward. Here's what you need to download. Right-click and select Save Link As. Make sure that it's saved as a .desktop. Some browsers may try to alter that file name. You need to make sure it stays .desktop. And of course, you put it on your desktop. Once you have it on your desktop, it'll show up right here. We're gonna go ahead and double-click to install. This is pain-free and easy. It's going to ask you if you want to set up a system service for background updates. In other words, every 15 minutes, it's going to check to see if any of your folders changed and update the sim links. If you are okay with that, go ahead and hit yes. If not, then hit no. And that's it. Very, very simple. We'll talk more about how to clean this up and how it works later. And you can see you have an update up here, and we'll show you how to use that in just a minute. Meanwhile, once you've run it, you should be able to go to your home folder, and in that home folder, you're going to see a folder called Shortix. Now, the first time I ran it, it didn't show up, and that kind of confused me. I was like, what's going on? It should be there. So I decided to go ahead and run the update again, just for good measure. It's gonna ask you again if you want the service set up. You say yes, and you're done. And then lo and behold, now, if I sort by name, you should see that I have the Shortix folder. Inside that folder, hey, these look really familiar to me. This looks like the same set of games and apps that we saw in Proton Tricks earlier. In fact, they look line for line almost exactly the same. Except in this case, instead of having to memorize or learn some big long number and go dig that up inside of Dolphin File Manager, they're right here named something easy for you to get into. Look at this, here's Far Cry 6's Proton Prefix. We could dig in there. We could go find our save game, transfer save game from another locker. All sorts of possibilities abound. So we could actually bring up the Far Cry 6 Proton Prefix by number. See, here's our number right here. And I could go into uh, the Compat data and I could find the exact same path by opening up the properties of this sim link, and there you have it. There's the whole path to where it points to. And there's that same number, and I could plug that in up here, and we can compare and contrast what's inside both of these folders. Of course, it's a sim link. Everything should be the same, but let's take a look anyway. There you go. It's the exact same thing inside the sim link as what's inside the Proton prefix, only a whole lot easier to get to. Very, very cool. Now, what you can't do with these things is to delete them from here. Let's say you're trying to clean up an old Steam game, for example, an old non-Steam game, and you just want to right-click and delete. Well, you can't. It doesn't work that way. These are sim links. And besides, you're going to have to delete both the compad data and the shader caches both. So you don't want to delete the sim link because it's not going to do anything other than come back in 15 minutes when the app runs again anyway. So what you'll need to do is use the values that you have, right? So we've got the values of Overwatch 2 right here in properties. So we can grab that path, copy it into Dolphin, and there it is. We'll go back one folder because we only want to get that Proton prefix folder. Go back one folder. Now that's the folder we want to delete. That's the actual Proton prefix. We can delete that. And then, of course, we'll have to do the same thing. This is only the compact data folder. We'll have to do the exact same thing, uh, delete this folder, corresponding folder, inside of shader caches if we wanted to get a nice full 
cleanup. And of course, I do have a video on how to cleanly remove non-Steam games. This just helps you uh, get it one step closer, or just a little bit easier. So that's how you would clean up a game based on the data provided by the Shortix uh, app. Now, if we dive into Home Config System D, we're gonna see there's a couple of service items in here set up by Shortix. These are what gives the power for it to clean up and rerun every 15 minutes. If you wanna get rid of those, simply run the update Shortix, say no, and you'll notice both of those services disappear. Now, that doesn't mean you can't run them manually at a later date, right? Maybe you don't want it to run every 15 minutes. You just don't change that much stuff up. But if you go to the home Shortix folder, you will then see a script in there. And if you run that script file, it will literally generate all of those again for you. It just does it on demand instead of every 15 minutes as a specialty task. Now, should you wanna cleanly remove Shortix from your system all the way, it's pretty simple. You'll wanna make sure that um, you've turned off the service, right? By running the update Shortix and then saying no, that'll clean out the service. You'll also find out that it cleans out the Shortix folder except for the script. So you're gonna have to just delete that whole folder with a little script inside of it. And at this point, you are completely clean and free of Shortix. Well, once you delete this desktop item, that's it. Listen, I hope this was useful for you. Please, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell. If this was helpful, please leave a comment. I appreciate you watching. I'm Shane Armandro. We'll see you next time. Take care.